Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get chat notifications, so actual message notifications for uh, Twitch if you stream. And so this should work for, I use Streamlabs OBS. Um, if you have OBS, it should work as well. So what you want to do for this to get these notifications is you want to get this program called Chatty. And so uh, I'm doing this because basically the, one, the tutorials that were out there are kind of old and wasn't exactly what I was looking for. And so basically I have the newest version, version 0.11. So that's what this is gonna be based on. So what you first need to do is get Chatty, go ahead and uh, go ahead and download it from the top here. And once you do that, then this will come up like this. And so I'm gonna actually just do it pretending like I you know, just got it. So you wanna do a create login and then request login data. So just all these is fine. Click open default browser, so it'll open up. Uh, yes, or open in URL. And then I'll ask you, basically it's just asking for authorization from Twitch. So click authorize and then Chatty, uh, access token received. So now you have a token. So now Chatty is logged into your Twitch account. <clears throat> so once that happens, then you can, you can see, as you can see, it has access now. So you can click close. This was not here, so basically you want to put in your channel name. So mine's Nukem384. You want to click connect. Now it says you have joined my channel, stream offline, obviously. So how, what you want to do to get the actual notification. So every time someone types a message in your chat, it'll give you a notification. And the reason why I want to do this is because I'm like a nobody streamer. And so a lot of times what'll happen is I'm playing games and someone will message me and I won't notice for like five, 10 minutes. And then by the time I, you know, by the time I respond, they're already gone. And so it'd just be nice to have a notification, like a little sound, that way if someone messaged me while I'm playing a game, that I see it right away and can, you know, talk to them, interact with them. So what you wanna do now is go ahead and go to main, go to settings, and then go down here to the Windows tab, you wanna click notifications. First thing you wanna do is go to sound settings, this tab, make sure this is enabled, and the output device was not on speaker when I <clears throat> first downloaded, I think it was on default. So just make sure that obviously uh, the sound comes through your desktop speaker so you can hear it. Once you do that, then go to events here. And this is where, this is the important thing here. And so chat message, uh, Chan or app not focused. And I think it said off no sound file before I started messing with it to make the sound. So what you wanna do is double click that. And then you can leave basically all this stuff as it is. If you want mess if you want a notification for your own messages, you can. So I'll have that checked. Obviously, if you don't, you can uncheck that. So go down here to sound, the sound tab. The status I think was on off. So you want to click enabled and then go ahead and pick from one of the three uh, WAV files that they have set for you. So I just have it on ding. Volume, cooldown, cooldowns if you want to adjust those, you can. And then you just want to click save. Uh, if you want, actually, let me get back in this. If you want it to <clears throat> only make sounds on certain, like if someone types a certain thing, you can do that as well. Do that. You want to double click the chat message here. Sorry if we were just in here. So click that. You want to go to match here and click edit. Then what you can do is type whatever you want in this item uh, line. So if you want only people, you only want notifications for when someone types test. So if we type that in, click save. So now match tests. We click save again, then it's only gonna make the noise on tests. So let's do that first. So let's save that. And so, <clears throat> you know, obviously I can type in my chat from right here, so let's do that. So if I type in test, there you go, there's the sound. And so let's, if we test this, so if we put in high, no sound. So obviously, like for me, I want it for anyone who messages anything. So to do that, go back into settings and then obviously you just wanna get rid of this match here. So just get rid of this, click save, click save, click save. And then you can just put in whatever you want. What's up world? There you go and you get the sound. Uh, we can also test this from Twitch. Let's do that. So here's my channel here. Hey guys, there you go, there's the sound. So that's basically the tutorial if you want sound for 
you know, anyone typing anything in your chat so you can get notifications so you don't miss stuff like I have when I've been playing. Uh, hope this was helpful. If that was helpful, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.